1996 Chevy Impala. We're going to do a starter job. Stay tuned. The first thing you want to do is lift the hood. Okay, you lift up the hood, you come over here to the battery, make sure you take one of the terminals off. I like the closest and the easiest one. I don't think it's going to do anything bad to you. If it does, I'll tell you during the video. So, we're going to take the positive lead on in this one. It's easier to access. This is what your engine will look like if you're putting a starter in this car. And this is your engine, then this will be the right one. Okay, without removing the tire, just lift up the car right here with this jack. Come up under the car. And leave yourself enough room to crawl down between that tire and lift it right here on the frame piece. It's solid enough to hold the car. Okay, mobile car doctor here, and we're going to go underneath the Impala. Here we go. We're going straight underneath the passenger side. Oh, look at that. There's your starter. You see all that oil all coming through it and all around it? That's because there's an oil leak, and this is why we're changing the starter. It has malfunctioned inside, and it just winds up and spins out. So, right away, I can see right here on the solenoid, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a 13 millimeter nut. We'll go ahead and remove that. You get yourself a 13 millimeter socket and a 3 8 ratchet. Go busy, because you know what? It fits right in there. Okay, so I'm still under this Impala, and this is how high you need it so you could I'm gonna set my phone down I'm gonna give you about eight inches off the ground and that way when you're doing your own starter you'll know you'll need the eight inches so your arm can move around see my arm can move around if not you're gonna be all jammed up in here and it's just gonna be really hard so make sure you're at least eight inches block the back tire put the emergency brake on jack it up real high as high as you could go right on that passenger side get that 13 out and let's go ahead and take that out real quick okay there we go I turned the light on you say what that'll help yep you're right so you can get up here and unscrew that 13 put your nut down behind you of course you know if you got a big piece of cardboard it helps there we go just put that right over there behind you you won't be needing it the new starter comes with one now that you can see better, just pull that wire right off. There you go. Set it over here to the side. You ain't going to need it. Now, if you look straight up, straight up, you've got this bolt right here. It looks like a 14 or 9 16 the wet one. And let me go ahead and see what it is while I'm here with you. Well, let's see. And there she is. 14 fits nice and snug. So what you want to do is, and there's one right here behind the line, that one and that one. Take those two out, lower this, and then there's going to be the starter wire, and it'll come right down to you. It's that one right there. See that one that comes down here and goes onto the solenoid right there. Right there, that part of the solenoid. You can take it out now, or you can bring the starter down to you, then take it out. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take it off now, and... It looks like it's a 10 millimeter. Okay, so let's say it's an 8 millimeter. There it is. It looked like a 10, like I said, but it is an 8. And so we'll go ahead and we'll take it off now and just put an 8 ratchet and an 8. You could use an extension or a short socket. And uh, we're going to remove that next. Okay, I've got it off. And now you just want to pull the wire away from it. Put it over by the other wire. So far, so good. Now, now we're going to remove this. It's kind of tough sometimes if you have an impact drill. It makes it a lot easier. It's worth the money. There's one. And there's your other one. And there's your starter. Come right out. See it? Now you're ready. Ten, you're, I think it's cake. Man, and this one is really cake. Yeah. Just like the customer said. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to do a video. Look at that. If you're wondering why your starter's winding up, it might be because there's oil inside of it. It's caked up, a lot of oil. And 
here's what the new one looks like. Oh, that's beautiful. Lifetime warranty. AutoZone, folks. You can't go anywhere else. They give you the best. Okay, while the starter's out, now's your time to inspect the teeth on the flywheel. Okay, so hey, the flywheel teeth look good. This is where the starter grabs the motor and turns the motor to get it to start. They look excellent. Okay, take my advice. As far as the new starter goes, you want to go ahead and take that little nut off right there and take that other nut off so it's ready. Just slide this back in the way you took it out into the hole and make sure it's facing the teeth and then get you a bolt started in one of these holes right here. I'm going to leave the video leave the video on. Hopefully you can see up there. There we go. Hopefully you can see up there. Let's see. Here we go. So we went. Of course, you know, it's got to face that way. It's got to face this way. It's got to go pop in. Then it's got to go straight up. And then you got to get these. It came, this one here came with new bolts. So you put your little bolt, get your little bolt started first in the, in the back. Just use your finger and pop it up. Until it grabs a hole, and that's where you know where the hole's at. Let's take a look at it again. Uh -huh. There we go. Kind of goes under that plastic transmission shield that's under there. There we go. You can start that with your finger. And they gave you another bolt, brand new. A long bolt. Let me try to move this over so you can see better. Then you get the, new, the new bolt dead. started, and you just move the starter around till the bolt falls in the hole. Hold it with your other finger. Get it started. Once you get it, once you get it started, just pop it in there. Let's see. Now we want to torque that in correctly, so I'm going to need an extension, a long extension, probably about a 6 inch extension okay. for this 3 8 so you can reach up there and you can manually use your hand grip and get a real good torque on it. You want to do it by hand. The gun is only there to get it seated, that's all it's for. So folks out there, don't rely on the gun. Remember, these are made of aluminum and I just seated them. Okay, now you want to make sure that you can get one hand on there and pull it back as hard as you almost can, probably about 85 pounds at least, and there it's mounted. Now you just put those two wires back on, put the nuts on, and you're in business. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial, and give me a thumbs up if you feel like it. Later.